This is amazing. Now we can create a healthcare chatbot using Mixtral and Haystack. We are able to research articles from PubMed, which contains 36 million citations for biomedical literature from medicine. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about creating a healthcare chatbot using Mixtral, Haystack and PubMed. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Coming to healthcare chatbot, imagine the chatbot is able to research on articles and then it uses large language model to help us understand. So the flow goes like this. First, as a user, you ask a query, like what are the treatments for long COVID? And that query is formatted and then sent to a large language model to extract keywords, such as post-acute COVID syndrome, COVID-19 and SARS-CoV-2. So the extracted keywords are then passed to PubMed Fetcher. This will use those keywords to search for articles then those articles will be fed to large language model again after formatting. And finally, the large language model analyze those articles and will give us the output. Now we are going to code this. As a first step, we are going to install Haystack AI, PyMed and Transformer using pip install. Now click enter. This will install all the required packages. Next, you're going to export your Hugging Face API key like this and click enter. Now we are going to create a file called app.py and let's open it. First import OS, from PyMed import PubMed, from typing import list, from Haystack import component, document. Next we are importing the Hugging Face token which we have exported. Now we are initializing the PubMed with the tool name and the email address. Next we are going to create PubMed data fetcher, the one we saw in the center. Using this we are going to search for articles in PubMed. First, we are going to extract all the documents based on the article title and article keywords. So we are going to extract only abstract for now, but you can extend this further by importing the whole article. Next, we are importing add component. Then we are creating a class called PubMed Fetcher. It will receive queries such as keywords and split those keywords and use those keywords to get the documents from PubMed. Then finally, it will return all the documents it found in PubMed. Next, we're gonna set up Mixtral, our large language model. From Haystack Components Generator, you're importing Hugging Face TGI Generator. Next, Haystack Import Pipeline, then Prompt Builder. Now we are going to define the keyword LLM, that is Mixtral, and providing the Hugging Face token. Then keyword LLM.warmup. Similarly, we are defining the second LLM, that is Mixtral again, with LLM.warmup. So if you see the image, the keyword LLM is nothing but a LLM which converts the received question to keywords. The normal LLM is nothing but it gets all the articles from PubMed and then give us the final answer. So that's what we are defining here. Now we are going to set up pipeline. Here first we are going to provide the keyword prompt template. So if you see the image, here is the keyword prompt template. Next we need to provide the query prompt template. Here is the prompt template. So as a keyword template, it will convert the question to keywords. So we have provided an example. So the large language model will receive the question and it will give us the keywords. So the prompt template will get the question. It will receive all the articles and then give us the response. Now we are going to define keyword prompt builder using prompt builder function. Next prompt builder and then finally fetcher. So we are initializing the keyword prompt the second prompt and then PubMed Fetcher. This will fetch all the articles. Now we are going to initialize the pipeline, adding the list of components, keyword prompt builder, keyword LLM, Fetcher, prompt builder, and final LLM. Next, we are going to connect these things. The keyword prompt builder will send the prompt to the keyword LLM. Then the keyword LLM output will go to the Fetcher. So that means the keywords will be sent to the Fetcher and that PubMed fetcher will retrieve all those articles. Next, all those articles will be sent to the prompt builder. Next, the output from the prompt builder will go to the large language model. 
then finally we get the answer so now we are going to ask a question that is like a function which we are going to create so this pipe dot run will initiate the whole pipeline that is this pipeline so this is the whole pipeline and that is represented here as dot connect functions and finally we are receiving the response from the large language model and we are printing out the results now i'm going to ask a question chat with chatbot ask what are the most current treatments for post acute covid that is pacs or long covid now we are going to find the answer for this as a quick summary we created the pubmed data fetcher which will fetch articles from pubmed then we set up keyword llm to convert the question to keywords then a large language model to convert the received articles from pubmed analyze and get a response and finally we are integrating that in the pipeline now we are going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and then click enter i got an error here it says keyword llm dot output does not exist only replies exist so i might need to change the code so in the code i'm going to change the output to replies now i'm going to run again python app.py and then click enter and you can see here the keywords such as covid-19 and other keywords got generated and those keywords are searched in pubmed to get articles such as the covid-19 pandemic and much more then those articles got analyzed and we got a response here the covid pandemic has led to a significant increase in the use of telemedicine for patient follow up and it gives us more information so we can fine tune this further by changing the prompts you have given here and the examples you have given here you can increase the number of examples to make it much more accurate that's it as simple as that now we have created a chatbot and we are able to ask any questions and it is able to search pubmed and give you the response using mixtral and haystack i'm going to create more videos similar to this so stay tuned i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching